Hi there, more and more people are using now Bitwig and I get more and more questions about Driven by Moss as well. So I thought I'd do a little video which gets you started with installing and using Driven by Moss. So use your controller in Bitwig. First thing you need to do, you go to my website, which is mossgrabers.com de and you can download here driven by moss so if you are here at the landing page normally there are news about bitwig so you can directly click here to bitwig or you go to the music software section bitwig controller support and then you are on the download page on the download page you find different versions of driven by moss the latest is that one all the versions i cannot support because i always have only the latest bitwig version installed but if you run all the systems just check your version numbers and you can also download that so let's download here the latest release by clicking here and it is a zip file and if you open that zip file you see several files inside of it you basically only need that one which is the actual software but what is very important is the manual so let's grab the manual and put it here it's very helpful and you should absolutely have a look at it yeah what you find in it you find the installation notes so what i explain in the video is also again here in the manual and for bitwig it's a very short introduction it's basically copying a file which i will show you also in a second but what is also worth noting is there might be additional installation instructions for your specific device for example if you have a native instruments machine device there is a necessity to install install a specific template in your machine controller and this is then in the specific section of your device you can find then here the additional installation instructions here in the sub chapter as well so let's go back to the software so the only thing you need to do with it is you need to find your extensions folder for that and you need to look for that into the documents folder here in my German system it's called Documenta it might be different on your locale there is a Bitwig studio folder in that in the inside it is there is an extensions folder don't put it in the controller script it's an extension so the extensions i already have it in here but what you need to do this should be empty on your system so you need to grab this extension file and simply drag and drop it in here and copy it and you're basically done that's the whole installation you need to do as i said there might be additional resources necessary for your controller for example for the machine and you find that into this resources folder for example here is a template for the machine mark 3 and also for for oc there are some additional files there of a genetic flexi and so on then you can simply start up a bitwig studio and in bitwig studio Studio, you simply click here the title bar and you will get into the configuration sections of Bitwig. So you click on settings and under settings there are controllers and as you see I have added many many controllers and if you scroll here to the bottom in my case uh, it's on your system I guess it's hard to get a top there is the option to add new controllers normally most of the controllers I support are auto detected so in that case you will see here a little uh, information that you can simply click on a plus and can add that automatically if it's not auto detected or for for the, for example for generic uh, controllers or for OC for example which is a protocol you need to add that manual to do so you simply click on add and can then also add the controller important to note is that you need to select for example for OC an input device to get this controller started if it also has an output device you also need to select the output device to get it going on the top you can also select the takeover mode which is interesting for some controllers which have only absolute controls so you can say you want to have immediate or you want to have catch up or relative scaling so you don't have a chump okay so much for the installation some additional informations if you have questions or bug reports you also get some links on my web page which i by now made in red but is, i know it's very hard to read reading is not a skill set of everybody but nevertheless please check that out and i prefer to have your questions and bug reports reports 
on the KVR thread. So if you go there, it's a very longish thread, but simply go to the end and there you can post your questions. And I check that basically every day and you will get your answer there because it's not helpful at all if you write me on Facebook or everywhere, basically. So this is the central place. Please put it here on the KVR forum. And how do you report a bug or an issue? I can give you some examples what I receive. For example, you get information like this is crap. It does not work. Yeah. Good for you. First thing is try to be polite. This would be very helpful to everybody. If you write something on the internet, try to be polite. This helps everybody a lot. And to add some information also helps quite a lot. A little better example is here after touch is not working, but it did before. This was a real information I got last week. So, okay, I have now the info that after touch is not working, but on which of the lots of controllers I support, I have no idea. So what should you do if if you report an issue, do something like that. Please first tell me what controller you're talking about. So here in that post, it's Machina Mark III. And it's very helpful if you have some steps how to produce your issue because every system is different and then it's easier to try to bring up the same issue as you have on your system. For example, here I start Bitwig and then I press the play button on my Machina Mark III, but the playback does not start, but I expect it to start. So that's something which I can then try to reproduce and see if it also happens on my system and can then try to fix it. And what also helps a lot is if you add some information about your system, I am not interested in how much memory you have or what your CPU is, but it helps a lot if you tell me if it's Windows or Linux or Mac you are talking about because there are some differences there. Yeah, what is your Bitwig Studio version? Are you using a very old one or the latest one or a specific build or whatever? And since you're watching that video, you already found my YouTube channel, I guess. And on that YouTube channel, you will also find a lot of different videos for the specific controllers. So if you prefer watching videos than reading manuals, you find here examples for every controller. But also the videos might miss some detailed information. The manual is always a good read and you find the documentation in there for all the button combinations and presses which are sometimes too excessive to be shown in a video. Yeah, if you're into coding, you can also check out my GitHub repo. So the source code is open source here and available here. If you simply go to GitHub and search for Driven by Moss, you will find the source code in there. Feel free to fork it or provide your own uh, modifications respecting the LGPL license. I'm not too fond of pull requests because uh, they tend to make me more work than they help. So it's better to write me some info what you changed or what, what you find a good idea and then we can discuss it. And uh, yeah, this basically helps me more than one line changes of pull requests, which I need to read. And yeah, okay, I think you get that. Okay, so I hope this gets you started and you have lots of fun with Bitwig and make some funky music. 